Oh, I'm sorry. Hi! Going back. That's what she said, Jennifer Torres. I need some nicotine. It's healthier for me than smoking a cigarette. Not to mention I'm not allowed to smoke in my own studio. I think that's rude. And that gets back to what I'm talking about here. Freedoms in the United States. What happened to that? I have angry eyebrow all day today. Oh, I'm going to need lipo. Not lipo. Botox. Good Lord. It's only Tuesday. I'm exhausted. So I found this little article. You know, Cousin Brad. Um, Brad Staggs. The Brad Staggs of the Daily Mojo right here on uh, Mojo Five O, He used to be somebody. And uh, he told us all that he was headed off to the Area 51 event and then spent a lovely weekend with his girlfriend spending all the station's money on, uh, you know, the slots in Vegas, going to concerts, hanging out with big deals. Didn't get me any phone numbers. So it was all, all just a fraud. Very disappointed in that. But I found this article, the uh, Area 51 raid that was supposed to happen, <laughs> which, of course, they have to know by now, nobody in the United States, other than that one drunk woman who got under the fence, nobody from the United States has the stones, right? We at least have the sense to be scared of our military, even if other people aren't. U.S. military apologizes for threatening to unleash a stealth bomber on millennials who try to storm the base. <laughs> so, the uh, Defense Visual Information Distribution Service, DVIDS, and you can find them on Twitter, DVIDS Hub, posted a tweet directed at conspiracy theorists warning that the bomber would be the last thing the millennials would see. So the tweet says, the last thing hashtag millennials will see if they attempt the hashtag Area 51 raid today, dot, dot, dot. And then it's a picture of a B-1 bomber and, and an entire squadron of, of pilots. Hilarious. I love it. At least they have a sense of humor. But no, no, no. So, David, it's a part of the, uh, the U.S. military's PR. They obviously being funny about it, but also a little, you know, a little tongue in cheek, but also serious. If, you know, anybody actually did think that if a bunch of people rushed the fence, that nothing was going to happen. Um, but after they posted this out, backlash. So Saturday they had to post an official apology the military unit issued the apology saying the tweet in no way reflected its stance. It said, last night, David Hub employee posted a tweet that in no way supports the stance of the Department of Defense. It is inappropriate. We apologize for this mistake. Aw, why you got to take the fun out of everything? You know what takes the fun out of things? Twitter. Twitter trolls and people who believe Twitter trolls. That ruins good time for the rest of us. Absolutely. So, obviously Area 51, a big nothing burger. But I didn't have too much invested in it. So I'm not really too concerned about it. Uh, quick things that I wanted to get to before the end of the show today. And I've got a few minutes here. First of all, the, the Florida woman who bit the camel's balls, that should have been my story. But of course, Brad Stagg feels, steals it for his headlines. So in case you missed it this morning, is there are some people that listen to my show that don't listen to the rest of the network. Thank you. All right. So authorities in Louisiana say a camel at a truck stop petting zoo. Stop. Let's unpack that. Somewhere in Louisiana, there is a truck stop that has its own petting zoo. Okay. All right. Moving on. He sat on a woman after she crawled into its enclosure. Stop. This is in broad daylight at a truck stop. How drunk is she? Why did she crawl in there? The sheriff's office told reporters the Florida woman's husband, 
Florida people. <sighs> the amazing Musitech Mojo Studios uh, here in the beautiful Tampa Bay. Sometimes. But you know why Florida woman, Florida man, you know why all that is as bad as it is? And Bill used to say this too. Most of the people in the state are not from this state. They came from other places. They came from other places. So the crazy people, they come here and then this kind of crap happens. So uh, the, the, they told the newspaper the husband had been throwing treats to their dog under the camel's fence. Why? Why? Ha <laughs> ha This will be funny. I'm going to throw his treats under the fence. So he goes under the fence and we'll see if the camel stomps on his little head. She needs a divorce. Their dog went into the enclosure and then the woman crawled under the barbed wire to retrieve her pet. People will do anything for their pets. Barbed wire? Sorry, I don't like my dog that much. That's when the 600-pound camel sat on her. At least the camel knows the rules. Hey, bitch, you're not supposed to be here. So she told deputies that she bit the camel to free herself. Where did she bite him? I'm just, I mean, all those stories were that she, she, she bit him in the testicles. I want to see proof. So, you know, excusing the camel's behavior, camels are naturally going to sit down. And when they sat, when he sat down, she was underneath him. You know, face, camel, butt on face. Um, I might feel kind of funny saying this on TV. Now, this is the reporter, but she actually bit him in his private area. Uh, that's right. So one would think that this woman, who, uh, whose husband is obviously a jerk, she needs to stop biting camels in the nads and she needs to start doing it to her husband and put him in his place. He needs some adjustments. Why was he throwing the treats under the face? I'm just, mm. So uh, the couple provoked the camel and he cited them for a leash law violation. The woman did have to be hospitalized. And though walking a little funny today, the camel is fine. I love that story. Florida woman. All right, Florida man accused of exposing himself several times tells Pasco County deputies he's just an asshole. <laughs> Sorry. Deputies in Pasco County say a serial flasher had quite the explanation for his alleged actions when he was taken into custody this week. So this dude, Robert, was arrested in Wesley Chapel after deputies say a woman spotted him exposing himself and masturbating at different stores in the area. 69-year-old man. And he already had an arrest warrant for indecent exposure from the state's attorney's office. According to Pasco deputies, Target employees... <laughs> That's why you shop at Target. I was always wondering why. <laughs> the employees saw him driving through the parking lot and they called the sheriff's office. So apparently they know this guy, like all of him. And deputies found him in the parking lot of a nearby Sam's Club. And when he was asked about the incidents, deputies say that he told them, I am just an asshole. What can I say? Dun, dun, dun. That's the answer. Sheriff's office says he refused to tell them anything else. It's like famous last words before we cuff and stuff and never see you again. I'm just an asshole. The arrest warrant uh, released by the sheriff's office filed in June. He had offenses also from March. His charged with indecent exposure and exposure of sexual organs. Florida man making me proud. Now, this story made me a little upsetty. Um, 
and I don't normally want to end a show on a note like this, but this is something to think about. We had a Florida police officer who was fired because he arrested two six-year-olds during school. So you think about it. This officer, and this is without getting into details of the story. This officer, school resource officer, most likely this officer, I think it was in Orlando, Orlando officer. Anyway, so he's at school. There's two six-year-olds and they are showing their asses, throwing fits. So this reserve officer, he cuffed them and he took them to the jail. Do you remember when we used to watch shows like Scared Straight and we thought this was a great idea? If you've got a juvenile delinquent who needs to learn if they don't turn their ways, if they don't change their ways and turn their lives around, this is what you have to look forward to in this society. It's all I hope for my children is that they can be productive members of society. And there's a certain way that we all have to act. These children were being out of control. So this officer arrests them, take them down. So they, you know, They get complaints. There's a probe opened. So we have a Lucius and Emma Nixon Academy. There was a girl. Grandmother said the granddaughter had sleep apnea that caused behavioral problems. So that was, you know, it's not her fault. The second incident, a boy who was released to a relative after his arrest Uh, the head of the juvenile division of prosecutor's office, he intervened to ensure the boy did not spend any time in the juvenile detention center. He's only six years old. He's not going to go to the detention center. But this in Orlando, Florida, Officer Dennis Turner fired for arresting the children without approval from his commanding officer. That's what they're saying. And then the police chief comes out and says, oh, we're all shocked and saddened and, and we would never do anything like this. Chief Roland. Just sad. I think that these kids deserve what they got, most likely. It's, you don't have to actually put them in detention. They're six. This isn't going to stay in some kind of lifetime record and ruin their life. I'm just saying. Don't show your ass like that. If police officers having problems with you, the teachers having problems with you, at what point do we remove them from the school? Have a great day. That's what she said. Every news story comes with a happy ending. Graduation parties, bar mitzvahs, weddings, mitzvahs. it's all coming up fast. Have you found the entertainment yet? You need a DJ, a KJ, or an MC with experience, quality equipment, and a killer playlist. You need the world. World of audiovisual event services. Waves. Visit musitech.net and book your Waves Entertainment now. Waves. Fuse AV, the fusion of today's technology with custom design. Ease your business into the 21st century while retaining your company's style and branding. We custom design audiovisual solutions for businesses big and small. You'll be so successful, your wife will finally quit her job and make sandwiches like she's supposed to. Ow! Educated in sound engineering with decades of experience, visit musitech.net. Visit musitech.net for more information about Fuse AV. 